So Lassie, can you describe a little bit about your goal, your, the winning goal against uh, Houston? Uh, I think this season I've been in that situation many times and I just haven't got the finish. And uh, last game I got the finish, I've been doing it in training often so I know I have it and I'm, I'm happy I, now I, I got the goal and maybe it opens up the open us to more goals. I'm sure you were happy to score that goal. Were you also maybe a little bit relieved that it finally came? Because like you said, it was a long time coming. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I think I yelled finally after I scored. So uh, a little bit of relief. But I, I like I said, I, I know I already, always have it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy to score. Wilfried uh, told us that he spoke to you uh, that, uh, last week uh, about uh, some, uh, some decision that you made on, on the field. Can you tell, uh, tell us the discussion with your coach? Uh, he just said uh, he believes, believes in me. He knows what I can do in training and what I'm doing in games. It just maybe when I get to the final third, I maybe sometimes I'm a bit, uh, I do it a little bit too rush. So I took my time last uh, last game and I uh, scored the goal. Hi, Lassie. Uh, you have hey. the best attack away from home in the league. What's your, you think your secret for the team to achieve that? Uh, it's... It's hard to say. I, I think we play the same away and home. Uh, of course, home there's a bit of advantage, but I think just away games we maybe we got a bit more lucky or like uh, our sh shots been going in, stuff like that. I think it's just we have amazing attack and away games have just been a bit more lucky maybe. Lassie, well, you've been injured in 2020, 2021. Is it something that you're proud of to play the season healthy? Yeah, of course. It's uh, every athlete, every athlete in every every sport wants to be fit, and then you get your game going every every game a bit better. And that's what I think happening to me in this season. When you're fit, you play every game, and then you be more game fit, and then you play better. So it's it's good. Was there any doubt in your mind? Maybe you're a little bit depressed or discouraged in the last few few seasons, and you were asking yourself, well, maybe I don't know if I'm gonna be back a hundred percent. Uh, of course, when you're injured a lot, you question yourself why and stuff like that. But uh, I've been playing a long time. I, I know if you just train well, you do your stuff well, you're going to be fit at some point. You've been in a really good form in the second half of the season. Is it a product of finally being healthy uh, or uh, being more comfortable in your position, a bit of both? I think it's a bit of both. Uh, like I said, when you get when you don't get injured, you're fit all, whole season. It, you play better. Of course, when you play every game, you get the touch, you get everything like that. But also, I get a little bit more comfortable with the position, so it's it's both. Um, do you feel that you have to be a, a little bit more selfish with uh, the goal? The, the goal that you score, I, I think that you have this goal in every game. Uh, do you feel like you, you have to cut inside more and, and trying to, 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 to go for the other goal? Yeah, like I said, in trainings, I've, I've been doing it. So I just like the coach was speaking to me, he said, I need to just take it more to the game. But of course, if uh, your teammate is in a better position, you need to pass. But yeah, I could say I, I, I could be a little bit more selfish. And like I like I said, I, I know I have it and I scored it last game. So maybe maybe I could take a bit more shots. It kind of looked like a Piatti goal the way you scored. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, um, Houston was uh, causing a lot of problem with uh, a direct play. Uh, behind uh, your, your back line, uh, do, how do you feel that you have to, to counter uh, those kind of, uh, of gameplay? Yeah, they were they were very uh, straightforward. They were making good runs. Uh, I don't know. I, back line, we just need to be more uh, careful with the runs and more aware. Uh, we watch some clips, and it's few things we need to just be better and more aware. You uh, mentioned the third year. You play the same way whether you play on the road or at home. I mean, your record at home is 6-4-2 on the road. It's 7-4-2, so it's basically the same thing. Are you surprised that the teams uh, that host you are not adjusted to the fact that you play the same way being on the road or at home? They, they seem sort of still surprised to see that you attack the same way. I, I think how we played, you can't really... I mean, of course, you can do something about it, but like you said, teams haven't done much about it, so I, I, I feel like they can do much about it. So, all or they're just dumb, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's the uh, case. So I just think our game system, what we have, it's just uh, good, very good.
good. Thank you, Leslie. Thank, Thank you. Leslie. Thank you, guys. So, Kamal, huge win in Houston last week. Seven wins in a row. Well, seven wins on the road. Can you talk about your record on the road? It's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, we have a very good record on the road. Uh, I think it has a massive part on where we are in the table this season, being able to win on the road. Uh, I think we just go into every game with the mentality that no matter, even if we're on the road and we're supposed to be defending, we want to go and press and just play our style anywhere, any stadium in the league. So try to keep this up for the remaining of the season. How yeah, I felt good going into the game. Uh, it was a pretty relaxed week in Minnesota. We didn't train hard at all. So going into the game, it was a bit of uh, a bit of a kind of shock on the body, not playing hard for for the week and then training very lightly in Minnesota and then only playing 45 minutes. Uh, I knew it was going to be a tough game for me in Houston, but I was able to pull through the 90 minutes. Uh, the guys helped me a lot, so. You call me stupid for asking, but you, you mentioned you play the same way, be it on the road or at home. Yeah. Uh, it takes some balls to play the same way, even on the road and sort of dictate the way that the game is going to go. Yeah. Going into someone else's stadium and say, this is how it's going to work. Yeah, it's it's uh, risky for sure. Um, all teams want to win at home. Every team talks about making their home stadium a fortress and a place where they don't lose. So we know every away game is going to be the other team's best game. So it, it's very risky to to go out and play our style, but that, that's that's just what we do here. That's the way coach wants to play, and, and we all believe in it. So I, that's why I think we're having a lot of success. Hi, Kamal. Uh, you're having a good season right now. Do you think sometimes about the MLS Cup or it's too early? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I, I definitely do. Uh, I'm not too sure about the other guys, but me, I always like to think ahead and think about the upcoming games and challenges. And yeah, based on what we've done so far, I don't think it's far-fetched to say at all. We can go and get an MLS Cup. I think we've put in strong games against some of the best teams around the league. And yeah, in the playoffs, anything can happen. So we're just focused on Getting there first, the job's not done, but yeah, they're definitely on my mind. With nine games left uh, in the season, you're second in the Eastern Conference. Philly is above, uh, is above you. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Do you still uh, confident that you might be able to catch up uh, Philly in the next few weeks? Yeah, I, I think so for sure. Uh, you never know what can happen. Uh, Philly has some tough games coming up. Uh, so do we. Uh, I wish we got the opportunity to play them again. We played them both pretty early in the season when we weren't doing as well. Um, so yeah, we, we wish we can get those games back, but we know anything can happen in the league and um, the East has been fluctuating pretty much with teams going up and going down. So we know uh, that Philly could slip up. So we just got to do our part and keep getting three points. You're, uh, yeah. So what do you maybe take away from it in terms of your professional growth as a person and as a player? Yeah, just as a player, just lets me know there's an even higher standard. Um, some of the guys there, top players in the league, came from top leagues around the world. So seeing their quality in training and just professionalism and the way they act as a guy still pretty early in his career. Uh, I took a lot away from that, how to act off the field and take care of myself in, in the public eye. There's a lot of cameras around, so being able to handle myself and, and just raising my level in, in training and in games, we saw what those guys are able to do, so it just motivates me to, uh, to take a bigger step. Kamal, what can you say about your new uh, partner, all four, that uh, arrived and uh, that trained with you today? Uh, good player, uh, very, very physical player, very strong, everyone can see. I think he's going to bring something different to the team, for sure. Um, I think it's going to take him some time to adjust as we play very different from the way Chicago does and something new to him. But uh, so far, he's done very well off the field, getting to know the guys. And uh, he's not too shy, so, so this is the kind of player we want. He looks like a wide receiver. <laughs> he's big. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's massive. Definitely a defender's nightmare. So having 1v1s with him, Will, will help me and it'll help him for sure. Uh, we all just 
now he's part of the team. We all just want to raise his level and get him up to uh, uh, up to the speed that we've been flying at. You've, Jamal, got, a, uh, you've go got a good vantage point to uh, look at Lassie because he's playing like right next to you. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, on a very good progression, especially in the second part of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your appreciation of the, the way that he's been progressing so far? Yeah, I think every, even after my first week here at Montreal last year, you can see that Lassie is a top, top quality player, uh, big on confidence and I like that he takes a lot of risks in the final third and tries to make stuff happen for us. Uh, me, my, I, I try to get him the ball as much as I can because I know he's a player who's going to make something happen. So his, to see him progressing and finally getting the goals and the assists and Team of the Weeks and stuff that he deserves is good and I hope he keeps pushing. Kamal, we're 99 days away from Canada, Belgium. Are you starting to look at the calendar and to get a little bit excited about the this upcoming game in the World Cup? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I've been looking uh, even before this. I've been looking for a long time, um, keeping focus on what's going on here in Montreal, but also knowing that this game is coming and doing everything I can do now to, to prepare the, the little ways, prepare myself. So when I get back with the team environment, it's a smooth transition and we can go and put on a good game against them. Houston tried to play uh, direct and, uh, and use the space behind, uh, behind at the back line. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that uh, what the, the measure to, to, to counter this uh, kind of situation where you have the forward uh, going uh, to Ruti's back or, or, or yours and uh, there's a lot of space between you and, uh, and uh, the, the, the body? Yeah, it's, it's tough because we play a high line. Uh, we, we trust our defenders 1v1 uh, as part of the game. They, they got... Uh, their first goal came from a ball over the top. Uh, we had a pretty high line, but that, that's the way we want to play here. We trust our defenders to uh, win those 1v1 battles. And if we're on the losing end of it occasionally, we'll, we'll take it and, and move forward. But yeah, I, it got better in the second half. I think there's a lot more communication for myself, Rudy and Gabby, to be able to uh, talk to each other and help each other with the runs. And it wasn't uh, too bad in the end clean sheet in the second half, so. But do you feel that there have to be more pressure from uh, your forward, you know, to, uh, to have less time for, for us to uh, have to those, those long, long balls? Yeah, most definitely. I think it was very tough for the forwards down in Houston with the running and the heat, very tough for them. And even in, uh, even in situations where there's no pressure on the ball, we still, as a back line, got to do our job. Whatever happens in front of us, we got to do our job and make sure they don't score. So, so we'll take that one at the back.